Today I'm going to show you how to make this very cute Christmas bauble. Uh, for this you are going to need a white crayon. If you don't have a white crayon that's okay. Another pale colour like yellow or pale pink, pale blue, pale green. Any of those would work just as long as it's not a dark colour but preferably white. Okay so a white crayon. I'm going to need a black sheet of paper. You're going to need a little piece of aluminum foil if you have it. If you don't, that's okay. You can just draw on the, the hook. But that's going to make the, the little hook part at the top there. Okay, you're going to need a white sheet of paper. You're going to need a small plate. Okay, and you're going to need some watercolours. This is my watercolour set. You should have some too. And um, a pot with some water in it when we're ready to paint. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is use my small plate, which just fits onto my piece of paper, to um, draw around it to make the template for my bauble or ornament. So I'm going to draw around that with my pencil. Move that up. Okay, now on the one that I made before, I used a ruler to draw some straight lines to um, mark the sections of my bauble that I was going to colour in different colours. You don't have to do straight lines if you don't want to. You could do zigzag lines or curvy lines or whatever you feel like. So yeah, maybe I'll do something a little different this time. I think I'm going to do curves to make my bauble look more round. So I'm going to draw some curves in like this. But you can do it however you want. You can draw curves, you can draw straight lines or zigzags. No. Okay, and I don't want my lines to be too dark because I'll see them through the paint that we put on later. So don't press down too hard as you're drawing. And any mistakes, make sure you erase them because we don't want them on there. Okay. All right, so now I've got my lines on there. These are the different sections and I'm going to colour in different colours. Then I'm going to take my white crayon. And because mine is white, you're not going to be able to see anything that I do. But if you're using a, a yellow or a pale colour, it will actually be easier. And what I'm going to do is draw these designs on, right? They're all kind of doodles, like zigzags. I have some little triangles there, I have some swirls, more zigzags and dots and straight lines. So each section I'm going to fill with a different design. And um, I'm going to press quite hard with my crayon. If you don't press hard enough, then the wax won't be thick enough and the paint will actually just stick to it. So you need to press down quite hard. This will take you a little while. And um, do make sure that you press down quite hard. Like I said, if you use a yellow crayon or a pink, pale pink or pale green or pale blue crayon, that might actually be easier because you'll be able to see where you're drawing. And when I'm finished, I'll join you again. Okay, so I just spent about 10 minutes colouring on some designs. I don't know if you can just see them sort of reflecting in the light. If you do this near a window where you can kind of see the crayon a little bit better, it's a lot easier. But like I say, if it's uh, easier for you, I would use a yellow or a pale blue and then you can see exactly where you're, you're colouring in. So what I did was draw designs and then I, I kind of went back and forth over them a couple of times each line to make it nice and thick so that the paint can't get underneath the crayon. And you can see them a little bit there. All right, now I am ready to paint, which is my favorite bit. I've got a little pot of water. I've got my watercolors here. Okay, and I'm gonna pick nice bright colors that are going to make it pop. I'm not gonna use brown. I'm not gonna use black. Those aren't good colours. And what you really want is something um, nice and sort of deeply coloured. So don't go, if I have some, some pastel-y ones, I'm not going to use those. Those are going to be too pale. I want this to really pop. So I'm going to get myself a brush. Let's see if I can find a good one. Okay. So a brush not too big because I want to be able to stay in the lines on my, um, on my ornament here. So I think I'm going to do the top one, hmm. orangey. All right, I've got some nice thick paint there. And I'm just going to paint it. Now, 
because we're going to cut this out and stick it onto black paper. It doesn't matter if I go outside of my shape, which is great. But I'm going to be careful going up to the line here. And you can see where all of that crayon that I put on there to make my design is stopping my paint from absorbing onto the, the design. And you can see it popping out. This is my favorite bit because you get to see how it really looks like. Okay, there, all my zigzags look nice. I'm going to make sure that I get all of that covered in. Then I'm going to wash, wash my brush off carefully. And choose my next colour. I'm going to use a colour that's going to contrast with that. So I think I'm going to go with green for my next section. And I'm going to carry on filling in all of this section and the whole thing, and I will see you at the end. Okay, so after I finished painting, I've let my um, painting dry so that I can cut it out without the paper ripping. So now I'm ready to cut it out and I'm just going to cut along the pencil line carefully. is I'm going to position my bauble right there. I want to leave some room at the top to put in the um, aluminum foil and the hook, right? So I'm going to, I'm putting it just a little bit above the bottom to give myself room. And then I've got my piece of aluminum foil there. I'm going to make it nice and square. And So now I'm going to glue this on. You can do this with a glue stick or with white glue, whichever works best. So I'm just going to put a line around the edge. And then a crisscross in the middle. And I'm going to before I stick that down, I'm going to put some glue on my aluminum foil as well. Same thing around the edge. And I think what I'm going to do is glue this down first. Okay, so I'm going to glue that right about there because I want it to be underneath the bottle. And then here's my ornament with the glue. Flip it over. Okay, so you can see that I have a little bit of space at the bottom. I have space at the top. I'm gonna get it right in the middle. Stick it down. There, that looks great. And then the last bit is to just draw the hook at the top. And I'm gonna use my white crown for that. You could use a um, a yellow crown if that's what you used before or you could use a white pencil if you have a white colour pencil too. Okay, and I'm just going to go around it a couple of times to make it stand out. Oh, I spread my glue around a bit there. There we go, and that's it. There's your Christmas ornament. I hope you enjoy making this. It's fun. You could even try making different shapes instead of making a completely circular one. If you folded your piece of white paper in half, 
and then drew an oval shape. You could make an oval shaped ornament or um, maybe even a star shaped ornament. Have fun with it. I hope you enjoy it and Merry Christmas.